Hello YouTubers, back again, as promised. Alright, so in the previous video I had this coil with the completely iron rod in the middle, you can see that, and it draw about 230 milliamps and it gave me about 150 milli milliamps on the output. Now I've got the same coil but I did something different. In the center of this one, I've got a completely iron rod. In this one, I cut two little pieces of this kind of rod and separated it in the middle with a piece of plastic. And I used this tubing. So I cut a little piece off. I made a piece of iron core here, a piece of plastic, a piece of iron core there. And that is what is inside of this one. All right, so without any further ado, let's see what this does. Just trying stuff. Now, instead of drawing 230 milliamps, I'm drawing 520 milliamps. So, just by cutting the core in two and separating it in the middle, so there are two pieces on the outside, in the middle there is plastic. There is no flux going between, and my induction uh, is not that great. I, it draws 510, 520 milliamps, and my output is 100 milliamps, and the input remains the same. So the principle stays the same when you use the two cores. Uh, the two coils on the outside in series or parallel doesn't matter um, the input doesn't change but the core material is very important in this coil the core material was completely steel rod iron rod maybe I can switch it out and you can see what I've done so this is the uh, other one, put it aside, got some clip leads, you can hear it buzz, come on, that's the first one, this is the second one, I put the old, old coil in, the previous one, put it in the center, oh. it's not really handy doing things with one hand, but okay. Okay, good enough. Let's see what this does. It's not completely in the center, but voila. Okay. Yep. Back to 230 milliamps input, and the output increased by 60 milliamps to 100 and about 60. The voltage is also better, so the coupling between the primary coil and this core is important how to arrange this I found something out about magnetism also I will share that with you also but there is a limited amount of flux and that gives a limited amount of voltage and current how to circumvent that that's the next question I first want to see if I cut this uh, paper and uh, uh, make the contacts uh, from the iron core inside this coil with this core to see if there is a change in input and output. I will do that next. I have to uh, shut up the camera because uh, I only got two hands. Okay, if you like, subscribe, thumbs up, etc., uh, etc. Et I'll be back to you. Okay, bye bye.